Okay, I got the uh, Victorinox Swiss Army knife. This is the Ranger version. Do a quick unboxing. Here's the knife here. The classic look. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over uh, all the different uh, tools that come with this uh, Swiss Army knife. You got your, everybody knows, your blade, main blade. Here, let me put that up. Sorry, this is my first video, you guys. But this is a uh, main blade here. Then we'll come around the mini blade. All right, and then what we got is the nail file. This is a nail file, it's a metal file, and a metal saw. You got the metal saw part here. Oh, sorry, getting an understanding of how this is looking. But you got the metal file here, so basically, you know, you saw through nails. Uh, you got your nail file here, and on this side, you got the metal file. So you can file down metal and stuff. I mainly use this for, you know, filing down polymer or, you know, my nails. It's also a nail cleaner. You can get inside there with that tip. Clean your nails. <clears throat> so let's see. Then we got the the saw. Pretty aggressive saw. Everybody knows that there. It's very very sharp. And it works good too. I use this. I used to have a, a the Swiss Champ, you know, well, super big, all the different tools and stuff. So I got the Ranger because it's, it's got all the tools that I wanted from that Champ, like all the necessary tools that you're gonna need, or the, I mean, not gonna need, but you know that you would want to have. You know, a saw is good. You know, if you're going out camping and things like that, you wanna maybe saw through a stick, twig, or something like that. It's it's nice to have. Or cut through some real thick rope. I mean, this is pretty aggressive. It can, it can get, it can get the job done. Um, also, that file is good for, you know, sawing through nails and, you know, anything like that. Let's get to the next tool here. Okay, this is my favorite tool. I might have said favorite to one of the other ones before, but I mean, this is the favorite. This is scissors, and I think it's everybody's favorite. You know, everybody talks about Victoria Knox's uh, scissors. I mean, they're perfect. I mean, the way this handle fits in your hand you just use your little thumb you can you can really get some detailed cuts you know I don't want to be bragging about you know cutting things but yeah it, I love them you know cutting through tape cutting paper real quick and, you know something good about scissors you can also use these like nail clippers too which I used to do before I started filing them with the file and I still might do an emergency but I like the good old nail clippers but anyway favorite tool let's move on we're going to talk about the can opener and another part of Victorinox's tools that or Swiss Army that is very popular the can opener I mean this is it's got they got their own design and I love this design it's really easy to open up a can I wish I had a can right now to open it I might do I might show you that in a EDC video when I show all my little tools because this is one of my EDCs this is what I carry every day well, brand new because I just bought this uh, Ranger. I used I had multiple different ones, uh, the Champ and uh, I forget the name of the other one, but I had a bunch of different other ones. Just testing it out, you know. I found that this has got everything that I need. So, oh, also this has um, a flathead screw, small flathead screwdriver on it on the tip, and uh, yeah, very useful tool. And if you notice, I didn't get any. Phillips. I don't think you really need that. Uh, flatheads uh, are fine. You can open up a flathead screw with a, with a Phillips. So I was fine without getting a version that had that. And I'll go into more detail here in a second about that. Um, this part, the flathead, this is the big flathead screwdriver. Let me turn it right. Yeah. Love this part, this tool too, just for ma mainly for that. It's also a bottle opener. I don't really open too many bottles. I'm not a heavy drinker or anything like that. But, you know, it's nice to have. Um, 
And then this is the wire stripper, this little notch here. If you can see that. Oh, yeah. But it's a wire stripper, you strip your wires there. I have yet to use that, but you know, it might come in handy one day. I don't know. Um, toothpick, classic, everybody knows <laughs> toothpick. Not too great for picking at your teeth, but I, but I do like to use it um, for other things. You know, maybe cleaning out my nails, um, picking at things, I don't know. Just, you know, not for the teeth, I'll just say that. Um, then we'll come over here, we got the uh, tweezers. Another favorite of mine, pulling out splinters, um, pulling out, you know, hairs that you don't want, <laughs> uh, you know, stuff like that. I use these in a the combination with the scissors to get my nose hairs. I'm not an old guy, but, you know, you still got to keep, keep your nose in good order, you know. Uh, okay, so this is another, you know, favorite tool of mine. A lot of people hate this. These people I talk to, they're like, well, of course, what do you need that for? You know, you popping bottles every day? No, um, I don't. I do occasionally, you know, I use this to pop a bottle, you know. But uh, it's got a lot of other uses that people don't really know. You know, if you got a knot, you can stick this in. Stick it in. Oh, it's a little blurry there. But you can uh, stick this part in. And into the knot, you twist it, and it'll help loosen up that knot. Um it's uh also has another feature which basically comes with a tool this is this doesn't come with the uh it doesn't come with the the ranger this came with my champ one of my favorite tools it's an eyeglass screwdriver that basically you know it's a flathead mini screwdriver i use this on a knife on my buck knife which is another knife i'll, I'll do a review on which is uh another EDC of mine but I use it to take down the screws it's not really made for that but it works so I like to have that in my pocket um, but this just twirls right inside right inside uh, inside that uh, corkscrew and while I had that open there's a little hidden compartment on these uh, Swiss Army knives that most people don't know it's like a little little hole right there and uh, th once again, the Ranger doesn't come with this, but you can purchase these. You can purchase this little mini screwdriver. You can purchase this this pin. This is a great pin. Like I said, I'm saying everything is great because, like I said, I, it took a while, and, and this is the Swiss Army that I like the most because it has everything that you know I wanted out of a knife for the most part. Um, but if you can see that, bring it down a bit. No, uh, you can stay there. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's just a pen. You can pop blisters with it, poke at things, you know, whatever you do with sharp, pointy objects. <laughs> but uh, it fits right into this hole, and you just push it down in there, and then it stays. So you got, you know, not something that most, I mean, people might know now, but uh, when I was getting into knives, a lot of people didn't know that. It was something I discovered. So if you don't know, now you know. Um, let me see. We got this next. Now, when you get back here, it gets kind of hard unless you got nails to, to get the get these uh, these out. This is a chisel, basically for scraping against wood. I, I'm probably gonna do another video to actually show these tools in action instead of just talking about it. I know that's probably kind of boring for some people, but for you uh, real knife fans out there to just enjoy, you know, listen to somebody show the, show off their knives and. You know, talk about their philosophies and things like that. This is for you. Uh, but anyway, this is a chisel. And you can just, you can scrape wood. And so I, I've never really scraped wood with it. Um, you, people say you can use it as a flathead. I wouldn't do that because I don't want to mess up my edge, of course. So, you know, um, I have no telling what I might want to scrape with this. Um, but, you know, it's there. And I, I like it. I like it. I haven't really came up with a use for it yet. Um, so, it doesn't give me good merit to like it, but whatever. Um, and we have this one, which um, I do like and I have a reason why I like it. It's another flathead. Um, because it's long, 
Remember I showed you the other small flathead that was on the can opener. Well, that's great, but this one is longer and it doesn't have all that extra bulk around it. Um, so if there's like a, maybe a, a, a small uh, hole that I have to get into before I reach that screw, I can uh, stick this thing in there, you know. It, it has some length and it, it's slender and it's, it's all about being a Phillips. I mean a flathead. Uh, so that works. That's perfect. Uh, it's just, it's nice to have. And you know, you get a good, good hold on that, twist it. You know, it's good. Okay, so let's move on. <clears throat> this is an, another, this, or this is a tool, one of the few on here that I don't really, I really, really don't have a use for. I don't uh, know what to do with it, but it's a hunk of metal. You can probably find something to do with it, especially when you got a piece of metal you don't care about. And you got to pry something or you, you got to uh, do something that could be potentially damaging. Uh, this is probably the, the one I'm going to use for that. You know, uh, it's basically a hook parcel carrier where you can put uh, your bag part in the hook and you can basically carry it or a bucket handle if it'll fit in that you know those thin little wire handles um, so it does that it carries that kind of stuff uh, or you know put some twine in there or something and carry things I, I don't I'm not in that situation where I can do that but I, I you know it's fine to have it I think I don't, it ain't hurt. It's not hurting anything. Um, so yeah. Plus, I'm trying to get into a little farming and stuff. So maybe when I get out in the country, it might it might turn into something that's useful. More than I know now. Uh, this is uh, the last tool. Yep. Which is another favorite of mine. You know, people who have changing waist sizes. <laughs> you can put holes in your belt. Um, they say you can, it's like an awl, you can use it for like a sewing or something, like a tent. I don't know. I I, I never, I don't know how you can sew with this thing. It's got a little hole there. Put the thread through, you can poke it through and, you know, bring it out. And I, I you know, I guess I don't see myself using it for that. Sharp edge. One thing that you need to know about this tool is something you want to know, especially if you care about this tool. Because I care about at least the sharpness of it and its ability to poke. This here, this is the last tool actually, the, this right here. I'm holding the, the keychain ring. Cause you can attach lanyards, you can attach um, your keys, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's basically a tool. But you have to make sure that this keychain does not, is not hanging right here. You see how it's loose that way? You don't want it hanging right on top. And the reason I say that is because if you let this down on top of that, it's going to hit it. It's going to connect. See that? I don't want to make mine connect, but it'll hit it. And it'll dull that blade. And you don't want that. I mean, if you care about this, if you just don't, you, you just don't care, then whatever. You know, do what you want to do. But when you're putting this back, just take that little extra step of putting that keychain this way. And then pushing it on down. And then there you go. You got a good, you know, keep that edge. Because uh, nine times out of ten, you, you, should, you probably should never have to sharpen that um, for your entire use of this knife. I mean, it'll be so long. You'll be passing this down to kids or, or putting it in a junk drawer by the time you would even think to sharpen that. So, uh, yeah. Those are all the tools. One thing that I do wish it would have that if I could speak to a Swiss Army knife and tell them, hey, uh, why don't you throw that tool on there? You know, help help me out. Uh, that'd be the pin. That I love that pin that they had on the uh, Swiss Champ. Uh, that was that was oh man, I loved it. Cause I'm in, I'm in school too, and and sometimes you know you need to write something, or you just walking around, you know, you maybe you need to sign something, or you want to jot something down. It had that little pin part that's stuck on the side one of these sides and you can you know pull out your pen and and write and I loved that I loved it kept a pen always in my pocket along with my multi-tool keeping my EDC as minimalistic as possible but I didn't have a bunch of loose stuff in my pocket so yeah if they could add that to this that would be perfect um, 
I opted out. I opted out of getting the pliers. Um, I did like those pliers. They were okay. They weren't really good for pliers the way you would want to normally use pliers. Uh, but they were good for maybe pulling something where you didn't want to use your fingers. Um, uh, just like huge tweezers to me. That's how I felt. But yeah, anyway, back to this tool. Again, you know, this, this little eyeglass thing is something you have to add that I personally put on mine. It has that little pin that you I added. But other than that, everything, this is what the Ranger is. Um, I could do more videos on this, and I'm probably going to do another one showing you how these tools work. Just simply just actually showing me cutting paper with the knife or scissors and using the tweezers, using the knot or the uh, corkscrew to take out a knot. Showing you what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, if you want to see that, yeah. And I'm also going to do an EDC video. I'm going to go over all my uh, tools and things that I carry in my pocket. And not just like you see with most EDC videos where they... They talk about um, they talk about what they have in their pocket. And they got like a hundred different things out on the table, and you're like, "What? Well, how are you putting that in your pocket, man? Quit lying to me." So yeah, I'm gonna show you that, and I'm gonna show you how I carry it. I'm gonna show you how I put it in my pockets, and uh, you know how I can access it and all that. So yeah, just stick around, stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you soon.